becoming a, a U.S. citizen. Has that has that happened already? Yes. Hey, good for you. <laughs> You're stuck with me now. The Academy Award-winning actress was actually born in South Africa, but now that Charlize Theron has become a U.S. citizen, she says she's here to stay. When British-born actress Emily Blunt was naturalized, she was sworn in alongside Matthew McConaughey's wife, Camilla Alves. Her husband, John Krasinski, said having McConaughey there made the whole experience even more memorable. John said, I said, John, did you enjoy the whole ceremony? And he said, I did. I was doing the best I could not to stand next to McConaughey in that courtroom and go, I'll rise, I'll rise, I'll rise. <laughs> Actor, comedian, and screenwriter Camille Nanjani was born in Pakistan and immigrated to the United States when he was 18 years old to attend college in Iowa, the move shaping who he would become as a comedian. It wasn't until I came to America and was sort of on my own and was forced to interact with people and be genuinely social that I started coming out of my shell. and being funny and really kind of feeling like a person. Mila Kunis immigrated from the Ukraine with her family when she was just seven years old. Mila's parents told her she was moving up the street, but the family went much further. And then we got to Moscow and then we got on a plane and all of that was very new to me. Like a train was new, the plane was new, I had Coca-Cola for the first time. She says in the book, six words fresh off the boat, Coming to America was all about making, quote, a better life for our children. No matter where I am, if Always you enter into my food. kitchen, it really, you think it, you're in Mexico. Selma Hayek was born in Mexico, but she's also since become a U.S. citizen. She says she's taught her daughter to honor her roots. In interviews, she says, quote, I have taught my child to embrace her Mexican heritage, to love my first language, Spanish, to learn about Mexican history, music, folk art, food, and even the Mexican candy I grew up with. I have tried my whole life to represent my Mexican roots with honor and pride. Only in America, my life would have been an impossible dream anywhere else. Actor turned governor Arnold Schwarzenegger moved to the United States after winning the title of Mr. Universe as a bodybuilder. I'll be back. Since then, he's conquered the box office in movies like The Terminator and later became the governor of California. He has truly lived the American dream, he says. So I tell everyone I'm not self-made, I'm American-made. I'm grateful every day that this country has accepted me with open arms and made my impossible dream a reality. For these celebrities, it's all about remembering where they came from while also honoring America, the country they now call home.